This year's Easter Sunday happens to fall on the same day as the marijuana holiday 420. Woo! Yeah. Which means no matter what your religion, this Sunday you're probably going to see a giant bunny. Either way. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. Uh, the Pope, speaking of religion, the Pope let two 11 year old boys ride in the Pope mobile with him. Yeah. Afterwards, the Vatican told the Pope that's not the kind of publicity we're looking for. What <laughs> the hell was that all about? <laughs> Kids, get in, come on. What the hell was that all about? Conan O'Brien, uh, the day before Easter weekend. Uh, telling a, a vulgar pedophilia pope joke. Leave it to the mainstream media, folks. And there's no war on Catholicism. No, not, not by a long shot, the left will tell you. Uh, and then it was picked, uh, listen, listen to this. Is this worse? You, you be the judge. Al Sharpton, the Reverend Al Sharpton, mind you. Um, and uh, here's what he said on a radio show, comparing Jesus Christ and Barack Obama. Let, let me say, as we are now approaching Easter and Good Friday, and those that are, are celebrating Passover, we should not lose the meaning of this in material things and who's going to get a new Easter outfit or, or this or that. I think even for those that are not believers as I am in uh, Easter and what it means, I think that the message is that no matter what the world may do to you unfairly, no matter how you're crucified, nailed to the cross at home or in your personal relationships or on the job, that you can rise if you don't lose yourself during the hard times and the challenges. Now, who is he talking about here? Well, I already spilled the beans earlier. Uh, he's about to compare, although he says he's not doing it, uh, Jesus and Barack Obama. Watch. The story of Jesus on the cross, no matter what they humiliated him with, no matter how they mocked him, he took it because he knew he could rise. And the story of Easter and my message for this Easter season is no matter what unearned suffering you go through, that if you know you can rise above it, don't become like the diseases that you fight. All right, well, here it comes. Here's the rest of that. As I looked at President Obama at our convention last Friday, with all he took, he's been able to rise politically again. I'm not comparing him to Jesus, but I am saying that to every crucifixion, there is a resurrection for those that believe. Right, so, so well, Jesus was crucified and was resurrected, uh, and I'm not saying Obama's Jesus, but he was crucified, and he's been resurrected, or will be resurrected. I'm not comparing the two, mind you, but I just mentioned them both in the same vein, the same context, the same storyline. Uh, come on, Al. But again, this is from a reverend who has a history, and, uh, you know, here's some of it. White folks was in the game when we had billion pops. There you go. There you go. And that's a, that's a reverend, okay? I've never heard him apologize for that. I've never heard him apologize for white interloper, for Tawana Broly. I mean, please, do I have to go through the whole list again? How about calling David Dinkins, the first black mayor of New York, the N-word? Over and over and over. You think you're the only N. You got the only N problem. You know, and, and then he called him a whore to boot. Reverend Al Sharpton, ladies and gentlemen. Reverend Al Sharpton. Not, not comparing Jesus and Obama, just comparing Jesus and Obama. I mean, you know. And, and again, that disgusting attempt at humor by Conan O'Brien with the Pope and the pedophilia. And then he says, what the hell is this? That's what he said. Uh, on the eve of Easter? I mean, what? Do they know no shame? That's K-N-O-W-N-O. -N -O. No, no shame. On the Steve Allsberg Show on Newsmax Television.